rocking. We rolling. We rocking. All right, microphone check. One, two, three, four. Skip the boys. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is finally back. Episode 32. Bike. Uh, we took I'm two bike. weeks off because we went to Atlanta and we had fucking fun. We wanted to be safe. You know what I'm saying? For the team. So 32 is back in full effect. Hilla Bay. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. I miss it so much. Ah! <clears throat> this little my scream I used to do I don't know what's going on I lost it no it's good but <laughs> it's, it's perfectly fine so I can't use it that's real rude um so hey y'all how y'all doing how y'all doing everybody feeling good in here hey Jewel good to see you hey, Jewel hey sis how you doing how you doing hey Alex hello how y'all doing okay Monique's here Joseph Friend is here Julian in the house. The gang is here. Hey, babe. What's up, buddy? The whole gang is here. We got a lot to talk about today. I um, know. So we got you, man. Let's go about, um, man, you know, we got to do some homekeeping. Yes. Let's How talk- is everybody? Well, I'm healthy How- now. Okay. I'm healthy now. Uh-oh. You know, COVID tried to get the kid. Try to knock you out. COVID tried to get the kid. So we get back. Jay like. Let's get tested. You know what I'm saying? First of all, I'm like, fuck all that shit. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not no conspiracy theorist, but you know, I just like, fuck that shit. I don't trust them. Long story short, J tests negative. I test positive. And you know, I was real petty about that because, you know, it's like, you're more germy than I am. So mm-hmm. how did you get negative and I got positive? Mm-hmm. So, you know, obviously keeping this, uh, the team safe. Um, but it was really weird because um, I don't know. This shit is really confusing, and just for and I'm really even speaking on this just to help um, those out there because it is what it is. From the beginning, they've always said it's either we're gonna get it or you're gonna know somebody who gets it, and that's been the standard since the beginning. Um, so what I've realized is it's not about you getting it; it's about your condition of your health when you get it and how to fight it off. Um, so it was really weird. I have Kaiser, so I have a great doctor and great care. However, honestly, the the whole just like the whole world, all the doctors are clueless. Like they have no idea. Um, a lot of the tests are flimsy, and they've said like it really doesn't even matter because at this point, it it's so sensitive that even there's people who go negative and turn up positive. People who go positive turn up negative. It's really weird, and I ended up in one of those weird situations where. Um, On the 4th, I had some sniffles and sneezes, like allergies, right? Um, I get back, I'm fine. um, And like that Thursday or Friday, I just wasn't feeling well. Um, I was a little, but it wasn't like, I wasn't coughing, no fever. It just was like, I was tired. Um, I had a headache and like, I was a little chills, but like that can be from anything. I, I, from traveling nonstop, uh, from not getting enough sleep. I also go to the gym, so I'm thinking like I had an extensive gym workout day that Monday. My body was sore, so I'm just like, maybe I'm just tired. And what happened was, um, uh, for like the two days, I just slept and I was back to normal, back to fine. Like, you know, nothing was wrong. But I had told my trainer at the time, like, hey, I wasn't feeling well at the time. So he was just like, before you come back to the gym, because other people are here, let's just be safe, get tested. At this point, I'm fine. I get tested, it comes back positive. And I'm like, what the fuck? This doesn't even make sense. I'm not even sick, I don't have symptoms, I never had a cough, never had shortness of breath, never had a fever, never, like all the things that they said that you get and a lot of people who's had it, how it took them down, pneumonia and all these things, I never had it. So I was really confused and it was like frustrating a bit. So I went on my quarantine and I stayed to myself. And then I had a couple of visits with my doctor and they're just like, well, I had one and she was just like, oh, you're fine. Like your symptoms are gone, you're fine. I'm just like, this doesn't make sense. Like, then I talked to the doctor again. She was like, uh, well, honestly, like, basically, you could have just sniffed the air and breathed dead particles and even dead virus cells get picked up in the test. So you just don't know. So long story short, back in good health, everything's fine. However, it's just a really frustrating thing because nobody knows how it's going to affect you. So my analogy to what I've just realized, I think, Even if I had it in full effect, it didn't affect me because I just, at that point, I've been in the gym for three months. I'm really a stickler on my health right now, you know, so Jay had got me vitamin C pills. We upped our vitamin C, you know, we already, you know, do our thing. So I tell everybody heavily right now, keep your immune system high because you'll fight it. And I know like a lot of people are scared because so many people are dying, but like I said, 
ain't I was good. Like I didn't have no like you know at this point you know there's asymptomatic people who don't even reflect at all. You just don't know. So in the other part of it, like everybody I was around really tested negative. So it's really no telling. Like I could have literally walked outside those trips to Target and the grocery store. I could have did nothing and still got it. Like and it's just like you know. So just to help somebody else, don't panic. I'm not saying it's not a serious thing, but what I am saying, just keep your health up. If you keep up with your health, you take your vitamins, you eat your greens, you detox, you work out at just a bit. You don't have to be a stickler in the gym. Just make sure you're moving. Make sure your lungs got the stamina up and sun and get your vitamin D. I think you'll be all right. No, definitely yeah. needs your vitamin D and your vitamin C. Period. What about y'all? How was y'all uh, two weeks? How, How you just want to skip week? all my, you, you better tell them you're happy I'm well. Um, I thought I, I didn't think I would have to say that. Did you just skip past me? But yeah, anyway, so back that was serious. I do that this took all, a lot. We had this conversation. I feel like every podcast is always an issue of how I do the introduction. I do it the same way. I ask how y'all week has been. I but I mean, you, I need to I acknowledge my long the story. Same exact thing. I, like I could have died. Bay, but you're here and you're blessed. You're fortunate. We're both fortunate. I was here with you. I was helping you through it. You get what I'm saying? And you are. I'm glad you're okay, baby. Boo. Because when you wasn't, on, go ahead, when you wasn't okay, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't even went, get it in. So now went. we can get it in now. You know what I'm saying? You can touch me. You can kiss me. All that. You know what I'm saying? First of all, so, Jay was still trying to get it in with me. He don't even care. <laughs> Niggas don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they be full of shit. They want sick box too. Sick box is not exempt. <laughs> not six, sick box. <laughs> <laughs> How was y'all last two weeks? How was y'all? <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing, man? What's going on? It's cool, man. Just rested up. I mean, I'm energized. Well, I, not last night, but it's been cool. Missed y'all, man. For oh, I missed y'all too. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. Same, I was waiting same. for somebody to say it. <laughs> no, I agree with Alex, though. I was like, dang, I feel like I ain't seen him in a while. We need to get back to this. So I'm glad we're back. Well, and my right. week's been cool, honestly. Same, like I just been trying to stay focused, stay committed to these projects, and just do me. You know. Yeah. Hey, let's backtrack a little bit. Let's go back uh, to uh, week one, two, and three. Wait. So let's talk about our issue we had. Okay, come on. What's <laughs> you, should, you ready? I'm ready. All are day. you Are you able to have this conversation I'm right now? I'm always ready to have whatever conversation you like. Jay always throwing audibles. <laughs> <laughs> he always not in the script. script. Yeah. He's never like, like, wait, what's going on? He's we never talk on recap. This is a recap of what happened. He's never a lot on of thing, script. This is definitely a recap of last week. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. But so what happened? What happened? But first then? of all, he act like I was scared. First of all, I ain't never scared. Go no, ahead and I'm say just, a little story. See, I was always in bullshit. I was very respectful. The cameras are here. I said, "Are you are, are you ready or are you okay? Able to have this conversation?" I wasn't acting like nothing. I was being respectful because you might not want to have the conversation. I mean, it doesn't matter. You didn't even tell me which one. So even if of I did it. Our last incident. I don't, I don't even care. Go ahead. Speak it because I'm ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to start it? Go ahead. No, Let's hell no. You start. I don't even know which, what, which one you start with. Our last incident. Go. Girl. We'll start it and we'll talk about it. Right, let me tell you how. Listen. So <laughs> a situation happened, right? And I'm always saying, you know, I don't, without putting other people's business out there, we just talk about our business. And I was trying to tell Sade is, you are essentially the company you keep. This has been- Thank you, Monique, off the rip, mm-mm. Okay, uh, whatever, yeah. whatever. So, uh, weeks and months passed, like I've been having this conversation with Sade, and Sade always like, birds of a feather do not flock together, I'm my own person, da 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 respect. Still, period, standing on it. Respect. However, people do associate you with the company you keep. Okay. Period. I was telling Sade that I was uncomfortable with some things or whatever. She was like, well, they, they don't got shit to do with me, da-da-da-da-da-da. So a situation happened, and I was like, yo, some tweets came out, and it was like, um, well, basically, the situation that happened, they was looking at the people around her, too, saying they the same way. And I'm like, this is all I was saying. Right? Am I am I am I saying the story right without putting everybody's business out there? Cause it's, you know what I'm saying. I'm trying I to, mean, you gonna trying say to it your way, and I'm gonna say it mine. So just go on. <laughs> Y'all know the vibes in here. <laughs> they so know that's that's really it. That was my issue. Without going into too deep, is I feel like you have to be careful of the company you keep because whether you like it or not, people are gonna associate you with the people you hang around the most. Period. Point blank. Period. <clears throat> that's oh. it. Okay. So. 
first of all, no. Okay, that's where I'm just going to start with that. No, I'm not saying that people won't do it. I think people have a problem with people who don't give a fuck what people think. See, there's a difference. See, me, Mm -hmm. what you think of me is not my business. Okay. Just to keep it a stack. Mm -hmm. I know as long as I'm solid in who I am and I know what I do and what I don't do and where I'm at and in my household, my friends know what's going on over here. You think I give a (laughs) flying fuck what some people who don't even like themselves got to think about me? (laughs) Like, what are we talking about? Snaps for that. Come on. So if you want to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not going to dub no friendships. I'm not going to re- renege on and not be solid to the core people who know who I am and know who I'm about because of what some outsiders may think. No, mm-hmm. no, no, no. So yes, it did cause a stem in me and Jay's relationship that week because he was trying to tell me. And the thing is, bro, I'm a grown ass woman. Let me say it again. Grown, grown. About to be 30 this year. You think I give a damn what people want to challenge my character to say about me? And I know who I am? Honey, please. <clears throat> all right, so back. So my, my turn. So listen, my thing about it is when you're in a relationship, all that individual individuality shit goes out the window because you're mm-hmm. in a relationship and it becomes a partnership. Mm-hmm. So I'm not taking a, nothing away from your feelings about you not giving a fuck about what people would think about you. However, as a partner, you have to Take have consideration. consideration of your partner. And I feel like you wasn't taking into consideration because as you just said, you never mentioned of nothing about your partner. When I said that I was uncomfortable and there's been situations on this podcast where we talked about and Sade was very uncomfortable with how I handled the situation, what, what I was doing in the situation. And I had to respect her feelings right. because that's my part. If I agree with it or not, mm-hmm. I didn't feel like Sade respected my feelings because why was well, she just said? She's confident with she. She don't give a fuck about what nobody say about her. But it ain't about you all the time. It's about both of us. So it's like, yo, I don't feel comfortable about this. So instead of respecting your partner, saying, you know what, my my man don't feel comfortable, and I might not give a fuck about what people think about me, but my man cares about what people say about him. So let me okay. let me have some let me have some median. And I feel like it was no median. It's always I'm good. I'm this this and that. Niggas ain't got shit to say about me. But it was you know what? It was never. Damn, Jay. Okay, so what you're not going to do, because we're going to have to get into the whole situation, you're not going to act like you came in here like, baby, this just makes me uncomfortable. All right, we can get, I love we can, you. We don't have to get into I don't want no there. smoke with you. I don't want no smoke with you. So, so here's the thing. I agree with Jay to a certain degree, right? So I think the problem here in the disconnect, this is just my point of view, right? Uh-huh. I think the problem in the disconnect, I heavily care about what Jay thinks. I never said I didn't care about what he thinks. But when you play into other people and what they think, that's the problem that I have with the conversation. It's not like, babe, I don't like, it's like other people are saying, see, you lost me when you say other people. When you, if you're gonna just talk to me about how you feel about it, I can address you and take in care and consideration of how you feel. But right. because you care about what other people, then we have to have a different conversation because it's like, well, babe, you care about what people think. I don't care about what people think. I care about what you think, but I don't have to care about what they think. Fair. But if I care about what other people think, you have to... I have to respect it or I have to take it into consideration? You have to to respect it and take it into consideration. It's it's one of the same. So I feel like even if I do care about what other people think, right? Although you might think that you shouldn't do this, whatever the case may be, if I come to you and I say, yo... I care about what other people think about me. It's my reputation. Whatever the, my whatever my reasoning is, as a partnership, you su- I think it would be good to have it considered. That's I, it. I, I heavily considered it. Go All ahead. Right, so, so this is my question. Mm-hmm. This question is for Jay. So do you feel a way and care because other people are looking and judging it, or do you feel a way because it bothers you outside of the people? Both of them. So what I would say is before the before the situation happened, right? I literally said, I feel uncomfortable because this person moved like this and you're not in that situation, period. I just feel like when we move differently in different situations, and that's okay, I'm not, I don't wanna, I'm not pointing no fingers at anybody, I'm not saying they was wrong, but what I'm saying is, when you're in different situations, that's why when you, we talk, when, when you're in a relationship, cap, a lot of times it's good. Cap, no, cap, lot, when you're in a relationship, cap. there's a lot of times I have- I'm finna start calling cap all I didn't, I, motherfucker. I, I, I didn't, go ahead. Whatever, so when you're in relationships, right, I'll be saying, I try to surround myself with men that's a relationship so I can talk to them so we can be just on a level ground we can have an understanding that we can really feed into each other, right? I feel like when you're not saying you can't deal with single people. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. However, what I'm saying, like some people move in ways that you shouldn't move in a relationship. And I don't mean that you're moving like that, but when you're hanging around these people, 
what they doing can easily be weighed on you. Period. So to answer your question, I did feel away, and and I and I would be lying to say. If, if part of my reason of feeling away was it because of my reputation because yeah I do care about what people think about me that's why I'm, I'm a good person all this because I care about my reputation all that matters so when you when you look at reputation reputation ain't what you care about personally it's about how other people perceive you only thing I have in this world is my name and my word and when I leave I want my name and my word to be intact so all that from from, from, from birth sorry. to death all that in between is I'm but your sorry. word and your name and that, that's I my name I feel like my word and my name doesn't have nothing to do with a small circumference. no your people. reputation is my everything reputation, about your name okay but my reputation on people who's never conversed with me never had a conversation that's with not me that's true yeah, okay so let me ask you because a right? nigga that never okay. conversed with you no. is the one that can okay. give you a job so, so hold on every time we get on this podcast we put ourselves out there right oh. there has been times that we made clips that went crazy and that I got looked at the bad guy you was always the first one babe that just comes with the territory yeah. that just comes with the territory let people think what they want and people People are thinking what they want. They're going to have their perception of me regardless. I don't fact. even have to speak. I don't even have to never meet these people a day in my life. They could say I'm, I'm with a nigga who's a party, who, who is a hoe, so he a hoe. They so could. does that mean I got to be like, I care, you can't host no more, or I don't really care about, I don't like you hosting because people going to think that you out here, it, it's so many avenues that this can play a part but in. that has that happened, it, doesn't, it has happened. Guess right, what? You still host. Guess what? You're still who you are. No matter how I feel about it, at the end of the day, I also have to take it into consideration. So it doesn't mean that I didn't take what you said into consideration. I think the cap comes in is it's not just about taking it into consideration. You want it to be different. And I think that's where the Something, expectation is. Yes. So, for right, example, when I, host, when I used to host, different. right, I used to do things that was out of pocket for Sade, and I, he I, I still even, do. Not, okay, so okay. I, I'm not about to say I'm not about to say okay. I don't. What I'm saying okay. is, what I'm saying okay. is, when I host, okay. I used to do things that probably was uncomfortable for Sade, and I stopped doing those things. For example, I remember still I, things I'm uncomfortable I, with. I'm not saying, saying it, I'm not saying it's not, but I'm but saying I have made point. changes. I'm saying I have made changes. In that situation, there was no changes made. So what I'm saying is like, it's been times where I've been in a club. That's I might, a I might post girls kissing and shout out. Be like, you don't do that. You gotta. And, and, and for me, I'm like, that's me drawing attention to my job, making okay, more people want to be. You hold up, hold up, babe. I let you. So it's no, like that's me, that's me, that's me. That's me. Letting more people be enticed by the club, making more people want to go. She didn't like it. There's other things that she didn't like, and it's like you know what? I gotta be considerate. Not, and it wasn't like yo, people gonna think what they thought. I'm like, you okay. know what? That's Can right. I can I yeah, go ahead. So my thing is, you choose what you stop to do. Because that was of respect choice. for you. Okay, but the things I chose to stop for you, you don't think it's out of respect for you because you want it your way. See, you don't. You're not taking into consideration the things that I did stop, or the things that I don't do, or the things how I move around it. But because you didn't get to pick what it was, see, you pick. I'm just not gonna post people kissing. But who said it was just about the kissing? Who says it's just not interacting with the girls at the hole? I never said it's that, but I could say that. But I can't do that. My I can't pick and choose what you stop because that's still your job. Fair. So just like my friendship, you can't pick and choose my friendship but i i can stop things that i also what you take just, into consideration the, the, what you just missed was i didn't miss you, anything what you what you just didn't say was you just said you was like the things you chose to say the things you chose to say was the things i chose to ch was the things i chose to change because you said it All right. i can't hold up i didn't i can't read your mind so when you make a point and you bring it to my my attention is my is is in my power my willpower to stop if you don't say anything that's i can't okay, I, hold, wait, hold up hold up i can't be a, i can't read your mind so if i made if i made it a point to say something about the, but all you said something was about the friendship so therefore you didn't say a specific thing to stop doing either so basically you're telling me to dub the friendship mm -mm, because mm -mm. that's the only you just said what i speak on uh, you spoke on something, so I stopped it. Only thing you're speaking on is the friendship. So is the level the is the level of the okay. the, the balance and boundaries inside. Let, let, let's just because I, like I don't, don't want to confuse the people because people gonna watch and like what the fuck are they talking about? Like it at the end of the day, no, 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 no we're not gonna do that. Okay, long story short, if your nigga think you got a friend that's a hoe, how do you move, Jewel? <laughs> <laughs> Jules. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I have homegirls that be on some whole shit, but I'm not on no whole shit. So how? So do you? So if your nigga is bitching to you about a friend, what's your what's, what's your automatic like response? What you what you I say? I mean, for me, it's like I, I kind of feel how you feel. Like I, I ain't got nothing to do with how she moves, type of thing. So what do you do? I mean, exactly. I keep, like what? What, what, what I do you do? Just keep doing me. You do? I mean, you I'm gonna keep, keep doing. I'm gonna keep the thing. I'm gonna keep moving how I move. But, and I'm gonna keep it at, at where I need it. I'm not gonna involve myself in what she's doing. What she's right. doing. Like, because we don't do judge each what? other as friends. Exactly. I'm never but gonna judge my. Hell, you also I'm not judge still my help friend. your friends elevate and exactly. let them know what they're wrong exactly. and what they need to improve. Thank you. Exactly. And that's a given. 
and everybody not gonna see those signs because you're not in a personal conversation that I'm having with my friend. You don't know where my friend is working on or the elevation or the prayers we have. You right. don't know. All I'm gonna you say, know what I'm saying? So it's like, and you that's can't fair. Say the that. argument is fair until we, as men, and I'm, I'm, I'm on a man's side, right? As men, we don't get that same leeway. When women don't like something, point blank, period, ain't no, you, you don't know the up. conversations I'm having. It ain't making, none of that. Now you're making none, shit up. I'm not. Yeah, you are making shit up. Okay. You just run with it. Right. So, okay. At this point, so, you just run so, with Jay, it. So, Jay, the question for you is like, if one of your mans is a hoe. He got a hoe. He's a Q. He Let's not talk cutting them hoe ass keys off. What you saying? He not cutting the bras off. He not cutting the bras off. You ain't cutting no bras off. A few of my friends are hoes. That's what we do. I mean, yeah, like. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's what y'all did. Oh, oh, but, but listen, oh, I need a few, of nah, course. It I'm gonna be honest. No, I'm a man of my word. I don't do that. I don't the cheat. Thing, the thing about it is, fuck out of here. The thing about it is, you don't see me associating myself with those situations in those situations Neither as you, often. You don't, it, I'm same. Like, what the, what the fuck right, are you let talking me, about? Let me, let me, let me no, rephrase that. Like let me, let me, like, where do you, exactly? Like, are you saying you feel like I was associating when she was doing these things? Like, what are you saying? I'm never with nobody doing nothing ever. Period. All right. Can nobody find me? That's why I was right, talking so, about what so, I said. So what, Ain't nobody ever well, could pull up nothing on me ever in their life. So, so what are you talking about? So what I think, what I think, honestly, in this conversation, I don't think we can ever come to a conclusion with this conversation because there's no accountability. Again, well, I what? feel like, is there to as, be, like I just feel like there be there's been times, all right, I'm going to tell you, there's been times we can look at these past 32 episodes and we can look at times where I had to sit up and be like, you know what? I was wrong. I shouldn't have did this. I shouldn't have did this. Even though I didn't agree. Hold up. Even though I didn't agree with certain situations, I feel like you should be confident as my woman to know that I ain't going to fuck around with your friend. Or you, you should, should also be... be confident in your woman to know that I ain't doing this. But that's my point. No, it's a That's difference. my okay, point. Let's talk exactly, about it. No, so, okay, though. if you're going to do it, let's pull the episode, right? He's trying to bring up Brittany, right? Let me tell you the, the complete difference. We had to say no names. No, we're going to do we could We could bring them all up. Like, you know, I don't give a fuck. Like, you, should, you care. This is, no. I don't care. It's my podcast. This is if real you don't life, like it. though. And guess what? All my bitches know it. Whatever I'm talking about I'm saying it in front of them after them it don't matter that I don't I stand on every all I got is my word and my name and my balls like you said what the <laughs> fuck nigga so anything I say whether it's here and they face is gonna get said right at the end of the day let me tell you the difference he's trying to bring up the situation when we brought about the assistant when Jay went up to her apartment and never told me remember we talked about on our podcast let me tell you the difference here you actually went up there and never told me you there's nothing that I did here that never told you didn't do nothing this is just your analogy of my friendship this is not oh you went up to you was there you you was there with her or do you was doing something and now I gotta bring it to you there is no problem you have to bring it to me right again, that's a difference again it's it, a huge it, difference it was it, the thing is you're you're trying to compare. I'm not trying to do anything I feel like you're comparing them and you <clears throat> cannot compare them that's the the difference if, if I'm saying it was not that's the point I'm telling you I had a problem you're saying that it was no problem that's where no, that's where we I'm disagree. I'm not saying that. I'm talking about what we're talking about right now. Nobody's saying it's not a problem. Whatever. Whatever. You literally just said that. Okay. What I'm saying is, Jay, you know what? I don't even give a fuck because this shit about to piss me off all over again. Because it's like you don't even hear. Like I hear it. Okay. No, you. I hear it. I hear it. You right, brought an issue. Ahead, ahead. No matter if you thought it was wrong or not. The thing is, you it's brought not, a, You were. That's my okay. point. Okay. Jay, that's my whatever. point. So what's the issue? What's your issue? Because I don't understand. My issue what's your was issue? I, I had a problem. I brought to you a problem. But you didn't think it was a problem because you don't, you wasn't doing anything, and so vice versa. Joe, how do you act when you don't? Do vice, nothing but vice versa, you a vice versa. I didn't think it was a problem either. That's okay. my been. I, okay. I'm not saying it, but I'm okay. saying what I had to do was I had to look in the mirror and I'd be like, you know what? I okay. can see how my girlfriend would feel away, even though I didn't agree, even though I didn't think it was a problem because why? That was my assistant. If However, you, hold up. However, that's my friend's friend, so I can see she would think that's kind of snaky or shady. Okay, cool. Even though I wasn't doing that, anything, even though you went up there without telling me, which like I'm not. You was but up that's there what I'm saying. At yes. my friend's house without yeah, telling me. Yes. Right. Yes. So that's, you said because you didn't think nothing wrong was of it. I, I you still said, had to see still it have, from your perspective okay. because I still didn't think okay. nothing wrong with it because that was my assistant. Okay. So I'm like, you know what? Even though I don't agree, I can see. I can put my pride to the side and see. Okay. Even though I wasn't doing anything, even though I can say if my girl was okay. confident or whatever the case may be, I could I, okay. I can say all that. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna put all that to the side, all my personal feelings to the side, and I'm gonna be like, you know what? Because my girl think is a problem, I can see how it's a problem. So let me move differently. That's it. That's that's well, the whole point. That's all it. All I'm saying is this: like, I already addressed the situation. We had this long ass conversation over. If you want to have the whole our argument again on podcast, you're on your own because I'm not doing that. I already, I already held my. I already told you in the room. I already said to you. Like at the end of the day, I see where you are coming from, and I so understand that. I don't have to fucking say it now. 
Okay. And you're laughing. It's not funny. I don't. Know. No, fuck out of here. It's, it's, it's carry a, on. We should be able no, to have these conversations. You just, no, no, we no, can, no, no. That's why carry I asked on, you, was you on, able to have the conversation? You said yes. Carry on. Carry on. Why would you say carry no? the fuck on. You want to finish it? You want to end the podcast? I don't give a fuck. We can end the whole shit. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's keep it going. You go first. You always go first. It's nothing about my name, so you go first. I know. You got to introduce the, this, this segment. Segment one. Carry on. You're not going to enter this segment? No, I'll change We're talking logo. locations. Okay, okay, there you go. Start it. Is it mad? Are you upset if if if, if I don't want to give you my location? I don't give a fuck where you at. <laughs> Sis, get out your feelings. Right, like, thank podcast. you. Somebody else said besides yeah. me. I don't fucking care. And we working. Like, you should care. And I'm the same way at work in my own damn day job. If I'm no, you're like, not. You would get fired. Yeah. Cut the you shit. Think, Cut the shit. No, you're not. You be real. I'm, for, get, for, I'm not arguing with my boss. If I'm arguing with a coworker, then we're talking about something different. Okay, so I wouldn't get. It's always fired a di- it's always a level of respect because I'm not gonna argue with my boss, but I'm arguing with a coworker. Why we can't keep it the same respect? Because you're already starting with me. I so. didn't. I asked you. I literally asked. I literally it asked. If you ask or not, you want to take it left? We could go left. But I want to go right. Well, start sharing your location. <laughs> Actually, if you want to be technical, my location is shared. Yours is not. I got a new phone. I just forgot to turn it on. I feel like if you the iCloud then shit, why it's not there? As once you like sign into your iCloud, everything. Jay's so full of shit. I sent them the 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 screenshot when I was trying to figure it out why it's not doing it. It literally gave an error message when it did. Stop capping on here because you about to make me mad. You, you always keep capping. You need to take a shit. No, I already took a shit this morning. You did? Yes. Just don't smell like yours. That's why you never know. <laughs> so now, for a real talk though, do you think it's a problem if your partner don't want to share that location? No. Well, okay, so to me, it's like, cap. like I don't think, what? I didn't, you, cap, what? Cap, I cap. never asked you to share your fucking location. But if you me. did and I said no, would it be a problem? Okay, I was just about to go there. Just relax. Okay, mm. so what I will say is, right, I don't think, it. to me, it doesn't matter. So, like, if, like, I feel like people shouldn't make it a thing. Now, I have seen where people make it a thing, like, oh, bitch, you stopped sharing your location. And my friends is like, oh, he mad because I stopped sharing my location. Or it's like a spiteful thing. Oh, I'm mad at him, so I'm going to stop sharing my location. I never knew that was a thing. Mm-hmm. Like, so, yeah. like, for me, like, I, if like if we're doing it, we're doing it. But like now, if it comes to something, thing, it's like, oh, why are you not doing it? It's kind of like, well, why not? Like, why? You know, it's not a big deal. Like, so for like safety reasons, I think it's okay to just like have it out there because it's like, yo. Where, but where if you, you asked me to share my location mm-hmm. and I said no, what? Yeah, I, I just said it's like, well, why not? Hmm. Like, why not? Like, I mean, I personally wouldn't ask, but like, if somebody did ask, it's almost like if somebody tells you no. What is a valid reason for no? Because I don't see a valid reason. Like if I ask you, and what if I, I care think is like, what if I think is is over? Yeah, it's like it's like overstepping. Privacy? Yeah. If it's a Mason privacy, I can understand that though. Would you really respect that as a girlfriend? And a man, and your man says no, you Do don't you want to share your location. Say no. It's not about me. Say no. I don't care. I'm, I'm saying say no. No, hell no. I don't want it, no. Why not? <laughs> because I just think like I, like when I'm alone or when I'm by myself or when I'm with my friends, I think I need my privacy for myself and I want to be able to. Enjoy our problem. You got something to hide? Hell no. I'm not there. No, I just don't want you to have my still location. It's private because I'm not there. Yeah, I just don't want you to have my location. What if That's something happens? I can't reach you. And then we will deal with that when it happens. Wow. Okay. Next. It will be. It will go like that. Next, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo, this is ridiculous. Yo, like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Sade is funny as shit. <laughs> no, she's toxic as shit. Y'all see it in real life. Like, that's crazy. She just said she wouldn't have an issue with it. <clears throat> but if I ask you and you say no, like, what you mean no? I mean, personally, I want to ask because I really don't think it's a big deal. But also, I think people ask questions that they don't want the answer to. I think that's not like I I, I probably want to ask because I don't even think that should be a situation. Like, what's your body like, count type shit? Like, that's yeah, a like, why do you want to know? Yeah. 72. Now, how do you feel? It's a hoe. <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas. And, um, Merry any, fucking Christmas. So, so you would feel away um, if you, if you asked and it was no. Not me. So me personally, I, I don't know because it's like you just said next. No, nigga. okay. Like so, like because I don't care about it. But if I did care about it, yeah, it'd be a problem. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like it would. So why it's don't like, you why care about I, it? Huh, why don't I? Because I just feel like, for, like, okay, I feel like people who are really in real, like, real relationships and they really not playing games and they really not on no shit, it's nothing for me. I'm not worried. So right. it's like, to me, it's like, why we could do it? Because it's like, I don't, you, you probably know where I'm at anyway. I ain't hiding it. I ain't lying. Right. It. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if I'm at my bitch's house, I'm pro- if I say, where, wherever I say I am, I am. 
And if I don't tell you, I don't give a fuck. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so to be I'm honest, not, never know where, where I'm not supposed to be. To just be on, to be honest. To I feel like it's only a problem when you places you're not supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, what I will say is, if let's hypothetically, right? Let's say I didn't, I, I wasn't thinking about the location thing and I had a conversation with a friend, just a scenario. And my friend was explaining me the importance of having the location and the safety tips and how it can work in your favor and things like that. And let's say, you know what? I thought about it. It makes sense. Yo, bae, I think we should share each other location. Send me your location. Nah, I ain't with that. I would really be, I would second guess your nah because it's like, damn, like, what are you doing to right. say no? And it's if you like, did give yeah. me a valid reason, I would be but honest. I don't, but what's a valid reason? Like, give me one. Like you said, again, any, Is it I just, really privacy? Because it's just like, I feel like I'm any, not there. I'm not with you. Like, yeah. I feel like any reason before you're, you're <clears throat> this isn't the, 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 the judicial, the judicial system. I feel like in real life, you're innocent until proven guilty, not guilty until proven innocent, right? Oh. And I say that to say, I say that, I say that to say, I say that, I say that, no, again, you don't want to go there. Sell. You don't want to, shit. You know anyway, what? anyway, so listen, so what I'm saying sell. is, anytime you give me a- At this point, I've been on the fucking stand <laughs> as a defendant every fucking day. I just don't Not understand. every day. I've been on a stand but every day. I've been day. on a fucking stand And I always got to take the plea Order deal. in the fucking court. No. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Anyway, we I've got, been on a stand. And I we take, got, how we got two defendants? So, <laughs> who the plaintiff? Because that's a Jay situation. Who the plaintiff? Yeah, you know what? I don't give a fuck. Let me tell you. You know how I know? You know how I know Jay Problematic? That was good. That was good. You, I know how Jay Problematic. Because even when I'm out his line, brothers, they all tell me the same thing. They be like, bro, he's a lot, bro. He's a lot to do it. I know he's a lot to do it. Yeah. Yesterday, like, he's too fucking much. That's why there's two defendants. Because Jay always got some side that he concocted. In his brain, that just puts him on the defendant's stand, too, because you know what? Me, too, Your Honor. <laughs> it's like, this is your fucking Me, Too movement as now. Sick of this. Whatever. Shit. Anyway, what I was what I was saying is when, when somebody gives you a reason, and if you trust them, you got to take that reason. Hmm. Period. I mean, you want you don't want to go there. You just you never take my reason. That's why. I, because you're you. Because just, you hit Jay, perfect. You know, that's it. No, hit no, the gavel. No, perfect. No, because no, it's not, nothing. Let me nothing you why. else. Because let me tell you why. ain't Yo, no why. Let me tell you why. Ain't Jay no why. Ain't no why. Finesse. Jay will be guilty. He got guilty elements, but he don't be guilty. So it's some. It, that must be. But I'm not guilty. No, but the nigga. But no, let me tell you the type of Jay situation. Like it said, we on sci-fi Twilight Zone. I don't fucking know, right? Jay will have the knife. The gun, the hoodie, the backpack, but didn't kill the nigga. <laughs> nigga and I want you to take my yeah, word. No, but it's like, like, what are you doing there then? What the but, fuck are you but doing? But you see there? the difference? Why do you have all the elements then? But take my word, because nah. you can be with the nigga with the knife, the gun. Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? I, anyway, what I'm saying is, whatever. All I'm saying is you're innocent until proven guilty. So if, if you say that you don't want to give me your location because as your man and being a good person, the good person that I strive to be, I would definitely feel the way, but I would talk myself out of it and be like, you know what? She said this. Ref you respect her feelings. You are holier than thou today. I'm, not, I'm, I'm being honest because, know why? That's me. If I tell you, that doesn't it sound like me. If it's like, okay, if I tell you something, I want you to respect my feelings. So if you tell me something, if I don't agree with it, if I don't like it, I'm going to bite the bullet and respect your feelings. Why? Because I want you to do the same but you don't thing for me. That, so that's Hell no, I don't. Exactly. I, I'm, so I'm not. Let's just give advice to yeah, all. Yeah, I don't do let's that all the time. the hardest to do that because you don't always yeah, do that. Yeah, but that's anyway, just my, my take on a, the location. What system. about access to cell phones? That's a good question because. <laughs> oh, because now it gets different. <laughs> No, it doesn't get different. It's just like sometimes, like I just might not want you to have my password and just give my fucking respect. Like we got all this space in here together. Let this be the only space that I have by myself. This like, is the shit. only place that the bitches be at. No, nah, be in here. You don't know that. Be in here. Shit, we get it. I don't need to look in the closet under the bed, but I need to look in them DMs. The fuck is he talking you, about? I sis? mean, but who are you out, Alex? <laughs> Then left the show, y'all. That's show. not. <laughs> that's not. Oh, that's not where the hoes at. Like y'all, just like y'all be yeah, like. Yeah, in the club. Oh. Hmm. This is gonna be anywhere for real to keep yeah, it. Yeah, I know they live upstairs. Oh shit. <laughs> what they say? It's a heat index today. <laughs> it's not. It's, 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 it's ninety-eight degrees. Out, it's ninety-eight degrees outside. Guys, it's it's one. It's one in five in this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> God. Whatever, yo. Anyway, so yeah, if you, I, Jay, I mean, Jay keep talking about whole friends had a whole assistant. I can't. You know what? I'm asleep. 
Anyway, so yeah, so having access to a phone. Boom. Honestly, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, me either. Jamie going Jay went through my phone one time. Just once, because he don't do that. Just once. He ain't find nothing. He was just convinced I deleted everything. <laughs> yeah, I just... But, all right, this is how... This, look, wait, look, wait, wait, wait. Look, look, look. look. So, you know how you go... If you go to Instagram, right, and you go to the little search bar, maybe because I never knew knew this. If you go to the search bar, you go to the little search, you see all the names that pop up that you usually look at, right? Sure, they shit don't have nobody. So, you no, had to clear it. that one time, because it, it clears itself sometimes. Like, No, it, does. it doesn't. Mine do. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Like, mine do. Like, no, it, it don't. Do. It do. Like, it sometimes it will clear itself. Up. And to be honest, shit. I don't be searching no bitches or no niggas because I don't give a fuck about Yo, nobody. He's full That's, of he be mad. Like, I don't be searching nobody. I don't even give a fuck to be searching. What's that? I don't care about the, the phone either, but whatever. Uh, But for those who do, though, let's have the conversation. Right. For those, so, what I would say, let me tell you, so, a big, so, boom, my ex used to go to my, my phone. Hooper. Why are your actions to go through your phone? It was had them in a reason. No, my why, sometimes just, men have had, their sometimes own insecurities. Sometimes men are insecure too, boo boo. Like <laughs> you talk about, he's talking about some. What, what was the reason? Like what did you do? Yeah. It ain't had nothing to do with me. The nigga was just insecure. Okay. What they doing something? You know so they feel my, like you, you doing something. You know what something. my biggest problem was? So my biggest problem was about it. It wasn't that he was going through my phone. He would go through my threads with my friends. And my friends would tell me private things or things about them that I don't feel like it had that's violating. that's violating. Like so, that's my biggest thing. Like I don't. It's not that I care about the phone, but when it comes to my friends and my personal message, like don't go through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my friend. You don't know what my friends tell me, and then niggas be mad because they know shit about your friends. Now they a hoe and all this. It's not your business. Like. She wasn't telling you. She was confiding in me. Like, you know what I mean? That's why we need to go through that shit. It ain't about. It ain't always about what you're doing with a nigga. Cause you could oh. be doing the same thing with a. Never mind. Second. Um. But phone anyway, access. like like I said, all that has to say. But even sometimes. Because no, oh, whoa. It don't even got nothing. Break to do it with down. That. Sometimes it's like their private situations. Like they might have committed a crime. I don't fucking know. Like, I don't know yeah. what it is. But it don't got nothing to do. Now they, you know. Now you feel away. Now you done tell your line brothers. Trying to get advice now they know now seventeen people know and my friend only told me I now, get like, it it's no. a new finesse you don't need niggas in your phone because you got friends that always do the link ups you get what I'm saying so they always gonna bring the plus one so you don't gotta talk to what the what are you talking about oh all right plus one wait, wait Jay you, you just made that up <laughs> it's, like a fan of fan. It's, like, huh? it's a new finesse <laughs> so now now I hope I ain't killing the niggas game because now I don't have to this I don't have to say up his own story. Right I don't now. have to save nobody number under how, Pizza Hut because I got my homie that's going to play. two defendants because he does that <laughs> same fucking thing. Like he makes up a whole scenario. Like that didn't even make like. No, my motherfucking Gemini. imagination go from zero to 200 <laughs> real quick. Like, yeah, two for two right. equal 200. Like no. I got it. It makes sense. All right, whatever. Yeah, but that that's really my only thing. Like I don't have no problem with my phone. You can go through that motherfucker all day. I ain't doing shit. Because when her, it comes to my friends. Because she got though, the I ones mean, that's bringing it to her. She ain't got to do it. I get it. It makes it perfect. You, you, that was, you got it, girl. You, you a slick motherfucker. <laughs> I don't never got to do nothing. They bring it to me. All right, whatever. I'm joking. What do they bring? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't want to buy a ticket. <laughs> Ain't that what I said? That's what they bring me? I'm joking, baby. I don't want. Child, these men is something else. God, the men that you sent down here to provide and to take for us <laughs> is out here accusing us of. Plus one. Let's not talk about the woman that you sent down here to nurture. Never mind. <laughs> she ate the apple, guys. You are right. exactly. <laughs> you feel me? Let's not go there. She ate the it apple, was guys. never mind. Can we? Oh, oh, oh now everybody in here believe in the Bible, the religion. <laughs> That's so full of shit. Last week it was no, like. No wait, oh, Alex no, always no, been doing no, that. No, no, I last, appreciate no, that. No, no, <laughs> no, episode thirty twenty nine. It was like because you know religion, like the day the Christians be making you believe in the the fuck out of here. <laughs> Let's okay. let's let's get into some fun. Uh, what? Damn, I forgot. See, let's get into. Let's let's do the having access to significant other's phone is wrong. Pretty much true. Okay, so basically, just to conclude that it is wrong. You don't want to share. I feel with like you know I mean, you, I know you've It's supposed to be a level of respect and honesty and truth, right? So, if, like, if you got a partnership, honestly, like, I'll just side. Like, if your partner wants your, your password, it shouldn't be an issue. However, some people I can't take away from. Just because it's my opinion don't mean it has to be everybody's. So if you have a, a valid reason why you don't want your, your partner to have your, your password, P.S., it might be, um, that might be your only your only space, then you got to respect that too. Just like I got to respect you wanting to know my password or the case may be whatever. Like I got to respect like you. How early does this happen though? Because I feel like some like people get in relationships and some be like, 
no, like I need to know everything that's going on your phone right now. Or is that like a something that you gain trust over time? Like we're in a serious relationship. Like, look, you have my password. Just don't violate me. Like, and you know what I'm saying? Like, like when does the when does when does this conversation get held? It shouldn't. It ain't no time <clears throat> because just being honest, for me, I don't understand how you can put a motherfucker life in your hands day one of meeting them. If y'all know what I'm talking about, you can fuck a bitch raw day one, but you can't give a bitch a password. Come on, make yeah. it make it make sense. That's I don't get it. Out here doing? No, no. <laughs> I ain't even know that existed. Niggas out here fucking raw like that. <laughs> Bitches out here fucking raw. <laughs> what? I didn't heard the excuse of. Th- I'm allergic. Well, you gonna be allergic today? The fuck is you talking of, man? You bring that's no a fu- hives today. That's a fourth one. Like, <laughs> don't bring it to niggas, cause it be the girls that be on the bullshit. <laughs> It be the girls that be on the bullshit. Like, excuse me? Oh, you think I oh you think I need you? Oh, you think you the only one? So question. Single days, baby, single. <laughs> oh, because I'm over here looking like um So question. Don't put her on her face. I'm glad. I, you feel what I'm saying? I'm glad. Oh, it's right. gonna be a good one today. I'm, I'm confused. Here, if you, uh, if you're sharing your location <laughs> with a friend, does that automatically mean you have to share it with your Ooh. significant other that's a good one because you know why i don't babe i understand that you care about my safety and my livelihood but my friends, but get my out. friends got it babe <laughs> <Like, laughs> <laughs> don't worry we good if something happened to me they're gonna call you you're gonna be the first one to come thank you alex that was a great one <laughs> wow. wow poetry today well they better come well they better come in this motherfucker cook for you clean your clothes wash your clothes fold your shit. clothes we you always gotta back. go to extremes yo no, what no, no, no. That's not an extreme sis. Call your nigga to suck your dick too. Why you at it? Since we here, nobody's one now. We all in extremes. No, now you in the closet by yourself this time. Cause what the fuck? No, call your friends, okay? All right, whatever. That that sums that up. Can we go to? Let's Mm -hmm. have some fun. Let's let's bring it down a little bit till we before we go back up. Let's. What's up? What's that? We had a a game that 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 Jewel came up with today. So I'm I'm gonna put the. He's a petty nigga. (laughs) (laughs) Jewel, he's a petty nigga, and I'm sorry you gotta deal with that because I'm sorry for me. Just let y'all know who I did was it. So let's have fun. Let's let's play a game. The name of the game is Two Truths and a Lie, aka Three Lies. But anyway, um. Aka Three Lies. Yeah. Two truths and a lie. Two truths and a lie. You go first. All right. Boom. Um. Bam. Um, I don't even fucking know. Um, um, two truths and a lie. Of course, you can't think of it. a truth. Mm-hmm. Fuck out of here! I can't think of a lie because I'm a solid bitch. Okay, that's, that's right, sis. Let them know. Okay? That was a good that's, comeback. That's, 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 that's really the issue. That's the real issue. Some bumble. I, I mean, even I'm know sorry. What a lie look like. Shout out to right, Belair so, first before we get into this. Shout out to Luke Belair. They've been holding us down. They gave me the jacket. <laughs> they got us right with the bottles. Uh, make sure you shop at your nearest liquor store. Get you some Belair bamboo. Um. What's the clip? The um, McQueen, um, you know, Rosé. Mm-hmm. They got all types. Whatever you want to get to get you right, Bel Air, man. They got you right. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. All right, bet. So, so <clears throat> my mom would, my mom is from Trinidad. Okay. Um, I got mm, eight siblings, and um, my first car was a Toyota. Your first car wasn't a Toyota. That's a lie? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. No, my mom's not from Trinidad. I thought she, oh, your father is from Trinidad. Cool. He don't even know me. <laughs> Nigga know my mom's Jamaican, bro. He knows my mom. I know you're Trini and Jamaican, so it but was he a knows my 50, mom's 50. Jamaican. Like he, that's something he know. JP do over know my mom. He knows that to <laughs> I a definitely know that. Like, <laughs> I definitely like that. I do know that. Right. Yes, my first car actually was a Toyota. Corolla. Congrats for your Toyota. Twenty dollars on a fill up gas. I need that bag. Oh my god, I love. love. All right, so mine is. All right, all right, all right. All right. Look, stumped you up already. Right. You don't even know. You I don't have, even know me. I have three siblings. Um, mm. I have three siblings. No, 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 no. I got, I got, I got one sibling. I lost. That was the worst. That's the lie. He done fucked up the lie. He done made the lie so obvious. He doesn't have three siblings, and I already knew. And he gonna switch it up. Nah, never mind. I got one sibling. Duh, nigga. Go ahead, bro. That's got... already a truth, and I already know it. Go, go. <laughs> I already fucked that scratch. That scratch. That scratch. <laughs> Start over. All right, shit. Man, this some. This, this that jewel shit. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all 
I was supposed to have these truths in the lives of Brady. We supposed okay. to have this shit. <laughs> All, right. All right, I started playing football at nine. Um, I, I went to six different elementary schools and I got locked up. My first time ever getting locked up, I was 12. Your first time getting locked up was 12. That's the lie. Yes, you were. <laughs> Y'all want to go? That's cool. <laughs> Let's get this. Y'all want me to go? Yeah, yeah. go ahead, I'm going to use the same ones I said earlier. Hmm. I swam with sharks. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? That's a lie. I have seven siblings. I'm pregnant. You're not, you not pregnant. What she, she definitely pregnant? swam with sharks. She I definitely did. Sharks. Wait, what if she was pregnant? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, it all it's makes sense that. now. That's why the fuck your ass is missing. <laughs> Congratulations. No, she, definitely, no, look, she definitely swim with them sharks. This is not pregnant. Got this you, is not pregnant. <laughs> this knows better, okay? Come on, Alex. What do you want? Never had a threesome. Uh, shit. <laughs> this is shit hard. Uh, stole a car before and got locked up when I was 15. Never had a threesome. That's the truth. You never. That's a lie. Mm-hmm. Oh, you had a threesome? No. I right. That's a, a threesome. right. That's a that's truth. The, like that. That's the truth. That's what. Oh. Uh, no. What I was, was the other two? No, that's the lie. That's the lie. Oh, you oh, had wait. a threesome. Sorry, I had a threesome. That's what Ooh, I said. That's what okay. Alice is getting that punani on this motherfucker. I know what I was talking about. I was right. I was right. Okay, my man. I ain't. You getting that? My man Alex getting that pussy. The nigga Alex definitely <laughs> stole a car. I yeah, you it. definitely stole a car. But you, you, I see it in his brain. You, you out here getting that pussy. <laughs> My man's getting a punani. Oh, I never Alex, thought you, you were. You talking about punani, wow. nigga? Why you stole a fucking car? We was young. Girl, everybody <laughs> stole a car. Wow, the free ass niggas. That's the norm. Niggas, we was like, young. That's the norm over the threesome. That's wild. We like, I'm young. thinking. Yo, like, shout out to Alex for out here. He's getting it out this motherfucker. He ain't playing with y'all. He ain't playing with y'all. Alex is a wholesome man. He's yeah, he's lying. a whole some man. <laughs> a lot of some in that motherfucker. That's why he had a threesome. Moving on. Oh, you a rapper now? No, nah, right. that's all right. Let's get to the shit. All right, we gonna have enough for two it. podcasts this, this this week. Um, we we missed bear with us. We didn't miss a lot a lot of time, so we fuck around and go for two this this week. Um, I'm gonna start with Megan Tory. All I'm gonna say about Megan and Tory is. What the fuck happened? That's a hell of a way. Listen, that's a hell of a way to shoot your shot. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> hey, like, yo. Like, like, <laughs> niggas is stepping that game up. Like, niggas is shooting that <laughs> shot differently. That's like, good, Jay. That was good. <laughs> like, you can't nigga, go nowhere now. You're the, stuck with me. Nigga said. Head ass. Can we talk about how Napoleon Complex is real? No. Oh, yeah, I don't want to talk about that now. Cause Why yeah, they do that to that, that man? They ain't had to put out his heart like that. They the nigga's 5'3". They ain't had to Of course he's shooting niggas in foot. So I had a game. Spe- speaking of games. He, he touched the floor. I had a game. Speaking of games, right? I wanted to go around the room, and I wanted everybody to give <laughs> their picture or their idea in their head how the situation <laughs> played out. <laughs> That's the game I wanted to play. How did Tory right. Lanez end up shooting Megan Thee Stallion in All the right, foot? so basically, I'm going to tell you what I think happened. So I think what happened is, you know... <laughs> Megan so Thee Stallion, sorry, y'all. I know so she's boom, in the they in the car. Corey got the uh, Tori got the strap, right? So boom, they playing. Megan wants to see the strap, and um, he like, you know, he think he cool, so he like, yeah, you know, it's in the back seat. He driving. Megan go grab it out the back seat. Her and her friend playing with it, like you know, bust it, bust it, whatever. They doing that. Tori try to grab it out her hand while he driving. But like he driving, so they tussling back and forth. He's like, yo, he get it. And she like in the car, like, come on. And he, pow, shot her in the foot. Mm. <laughs> okay. Our friend was there. You know what I think? Happening. I think what happened was they probably came from the little after party or whatever. And yeah, with Kylie Jenner. What the fuck was Kylie doing there? See, you know? Anybody? I think they came from the after party and he might have had a strap. Like she probably was saying, like, niggas was on some shit or whatever. He pulled the strap out, you know, joking and shit. And then, no, I'm lying. She wanted to go home. He was like, nah, I want you to go home. He probably pulled out the strap. You get what I'm saying? He's so short. He thought he was pointing out of here, but he was really just pointing out of her feet. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's like, you ain't going nowhere. If you think you're going somewhere, I'm going to shoot you in your feet. You know what I'm saying? So 
the, the motherfucking safety wasn't on the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, yo, you ain't going nowhere. If you try to leave, I'm going to shoot you in your feet so you ain't going to walk forever. You know what I'm saying? And the next thing you know, that shit pop out. Like, or it was like off his Harlem night shit. She tried to fight the nigga, the nigga short, and she stole that nigga in the face, and the nigga shot her her pinky toe. <laughs> what y'all think? I feel like. Bruh, Kylie Jenner know. did some dumb shit. Started the <laughs> argument, right? <laughs> it was Kylie. By the Why y'all do that? Look, look, by default, she started some shit Kylie up, right? Kylie just brought a new, so a new they Lambo were arguing pink. in the car. She don't give a fuck about these niggas. <laughs> they arguing in the car with her man's in the back. So her man's in the back start whopping Tori. <laughs> <laughs> whopping, <laughs> nah, whopping his ass, ass right? <laughs> <laughs> So then he just, you know, he blind. He like, ah, ah. He just get the <laughs> 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 And then boom, you know what I'm saying? Just, <laughs> just got shot in the foot. And then she like, ah, oh, she just shot me. He's shooting up all the time. He's shooting at her feet. So boom, yeah. So that's wow. what happened. Hey, yo, this is wow. crazy. Like, Joe, you know no. Yo, you had that one. Because I ain't like, it got too, it, it, we went too far, yo. All right, my bad. Yo, I apologize. Nah, nah, nah. It's not funny. No, it's right. Not, but I was saying, time out, though. No, no. Time out. Time out. Time out. Let's let's cut the bullshit. We're going to get to the serious thing in a second, though. Because this is it's shit. It's, 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 it's painful shit that be funny. Let's not joke. Like, let's right. not. Let's not. I hate when people, they yeah. become the victim and it's like, nah, sometimes we do I mean, shit that we can normal, laugh though. at. That's normal. If you're the one standing in the shoes, obviously people going to find their jokes because they're not in the shoes. Yeah. It's normal. But it's sometimes, like sometimes. Things happen and we make mistakes and it's detrimental. But looking back, you can laugh. Like right, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. however, let's I go mean, to the. No offense. Like he shot you in the foot. This is pretty. <laughs> no, she need her balance on her toe. She she need hey, her yeah. balance. Yo. People keep saying she got her knees, but you need your toes to balance. So yeah. it doesn't matter. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Yo, we she can't it's gonna be she gonna be using episode thirty two and done like <laughs> like it's done like we're getting canceled. Her she gonna have a leg up now. Yeah. Right, well, well, no, no. She was balancing she herself pretty well while point. she was backing up. Hey yo, all right, all right. still had balance. All right. She did. She was well. Whatever. She got her knees. Can we get? Can we get? <laughs> let's get into ser- like let's for right, let's right, let's, right. let's all get, jokes get, aside. All jokes aside. All jokes aside. All jokes aside. Um, I really so because I don't know what happened, I can't really give an opinion because it's like yo, first of all. You shouldn't shoot a woman, but I feel like I like I, I don't know Tori and I can't like take up on where I can't so, be against him either. But what I will say is I wanted to address Megan the st- stallion side. You know what I'm saying? She was saying that like she got shot intentionally. Like they was like intentionally trying to shoot her. If that's the case, right? Well, not if that's she said it, right? Why is Tori Lanez intentionally trying to shoot Megan the Stallion? One. And two, I'm curious <clears throat> to know. Why is it so deep that she's not saying anything? So this is what, so this is, the only thing is like, I'm sorry, so just I'm drag me, do what y'all gotta do. This is the problem. Like, I think that one, why are you and Tori hanging out all the time anyway? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's, I just feel like, it's not even a, like why, I feel like that's what happens when you're too friendly to me. Like when you get in these situations when you're with people that you don't, you know what I mean? That you don't trust fully or you don't know like that. Like, Megan, you're still Megan at the end of the day. Like, you're, like, literally, like, the pop star, uh, not rap star right now of highest stature. For this to even happen to you, to me, it's a little corny because it's just, like, why are you out without your bodyguards? Why are y'all just joyriding? Why are y'all just leaving? Like, where's your truck with your people in it? Like, where, like why are y'all even in this situation where you didn't even have nobody to come to your defense? That shouldn't even happen. That's just my, yeah, like you get comfortable, you forget your celebrity. And it's like, at a point, it's like, how many times do we have to keep telling celebrities, bro, you're not normal no more. At the end of the day, where's your PR? Where's your security? Where are these people like that you have to surround yourself with? Like you shouldn't even be around people with guns without your security already patting niggas down and know who got what and know, all right, well, I got to sit here because I understand that's your mans, but he got a gun. Niggas, Selena's fucking manager shot her. So it's yeah. like, at the end of the day, like, you just yeah. ride around with niggas with straps? I mean, what I would say is, like, I feel no. like, you can have friends, and if you feel comfortable to have friends, I mean, security costs. You probably, them motherfuckers, as long as they with you, you probably got to pay that bill. When people be trying to cut she the bills. She got more than enough money to pay I that mean, bill. I mean, we say that, but we don't know what our pockets look like. So what oh, I'm saying okay. is, I think you can have friends however. It's not new, really you about. You got a new wig every day. You could buy a fucking, you She got probably security. get that shit for free for promo. But what I will say, what I will say is, look. I think, my, my situation is like, yo, if you, at this point, what is snitching? Because if somebody harmed you, right? Like, you're not, 
you're not you're not six nine here. Like you're not intentionally putting yourself in a situation to to hurt people or to break the law. So like somebody shot you, so somebody brought harm to you. If you say something, that's protecting yourself. It's not snitching. So I'm curious to know why isn't you saying something if it was Tory Lanez or even because if it was Because he might have a proper defense, to be honest. And I think that's more so what it is. You know, her manager tweeted out, Tory, count your fucking days. And I mean, like, at the end of the day, it's also, it could just be a perception thing. Like, he thinks it happened one way, and he has a chance with that in court, and she thinks it happens another way, and they're probably going against each other. So now PR is like, everybody just be quiet. Yeah. Because you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, but real, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> But I didn't. It's not even else. No funny. No funny. No funny. No funny though. But hey, uh, if it was like intentionally was trying bad. to shoot somebody, my like bad. why did he shoot her in the foot? That's what I really want to know. Because like, we don't know that. Like, because what, I can only look at the verbs that we know. Right. <laughs> we don't know why he shot her. And honestly, it keeps saying allegedly. Right. So we don't know if he shot her. What I will ask is, why aren't you saying who shot you? Right. Because mm. if it's not Tori and that is your friend, don't you want to get him out the hot seat? Yeah. And, right. And, <laughs> Yeah. And even if it was, but even if it was, Tori, you got you're the victim. Right. Why not just say something? Yeah, it's it's definitely a weird situation. I still don't understand it. I still don't understand a lot of it. Like because even like why why Tori strapped? Like where y'all yeah. was going? <clears throat> and my thing is like even the manager thing. Why is your like why is he's writing on Twitter? Really, they just caught it. Though. Yeah, I'm gonna say because like that's he stupid. Like so if something it. does happen, you're the first. Yeah, you're I stupid. Don't. You're yeah. not clearly yeah. you're not from like, hood. But yeah. anyway. Um, any, anything else on a Tory Megan yeah, Stallion situation? Uh, I, I do want to talk about you know her tweet just saying like you know uh, that's what I want to talk about. Yeah. You know, uh, damn, I wish uh, Alex. Women, women are the most. I, yeah, the, she, basically just saying women are the most unprotected and like soon as you know everybody's on the BLM movement, but soon as something happens to a black woman, it's jokes. And um, <sighs> y'all. First of all, we gotta stop playing this card because it's really not getting fair to the actual movement and the things that are sensitive that we do need to. It's not funny, but it's 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 like everything is not always racial related. Like you get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I don't think this has anything to do with singling out a black woman. Like people love Meg. Like let's not get it fucked up, Meg. You're a very liked celebrity. One of the so few not, that every like, like one yeah. of the few that people really, really like, like you. Yeah. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So to play as if like. People are unprotecting you and joking about it. I don't think that's the situation at all. Me personally, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but I don't think that's proper to put that on that. And if you're not, if you're not talking about the situation and trying to clear it up, why are you even getting on to talk about it in that form? It's like, and that's what on, I wanted like, to say. First of all, we can't protect you if you're not protecting yourself. You yes. clearly, well, I can't say you don't care, but you're not saying what happened. You were there. So why would we take it more serious than you're taking it? Like, right. you're like, not even saying who saying. shot you. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least you can say, Yo, this nigga shot me. This ain't fair. That was some corny shit. And then we can be like, yo, nah, that's wild. Because right. we know the story. We don't know the story. So all we can do as black people, as we always do, not saying it's right. good, but we all know how black Twitter get. Yeah. Once black Twitter get it, it's a joke. It's a, it's a rap. So it's like you're leaving it up to us to make our own stories up. So clear Defend it up. yourself. Clear it up, you're not man. defending yourself. So we don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. But that's my my two cents yeah. on the uh, Megan and Stallion and Tory Lane situation. Uh, we got um, the... We got the, the, the Nick Cannon. They done canceled Nick Cannon. No, they didn't. Can't, let's, 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 all right. So let's go to what happened. So Nick Cannon got fired from Viacom. A lot of people don't know that Viacom owns a lot of the companies, BET, um, MTV, MTV VH1. VH1. Yeah. They, yeah, they get into a different type of bag. So Viacom fired Nick Cannon for making anti-Semitic remarks about well, of course, anti-Semitic means anti-Jewish people. Um, <clears throat> so I had to, honestly, I had to look it up for myself because I didn't know what anti-Semitic mean. I thought it was just racial comments when it's not. It's actually directed to Jewish people, right? So when I, when I at first, before I understood the word anti-Semitic, right, I was like, what he said seems like it made sense. And I feel like it's theories out there that that's cool. I mean, that's about it. I went to social media and everybody was talking about the savage thing and white people in Viacom's write up, they didn't say anything about racial remarks about white people. They said anti, they very was, they was very clear about anti Semitic. And even though I think Nick Cannon was right, but given his, his opinion, what I will say is it was anti Semitic. You get what I'm saying? Did he apologize to Viacom like he said he did? I don't know. Um, so a lot of us have, have a problem where he had, he doubled down, he went on. 
on his Twitter or Instagram and just said that he he demands um wilding out back. We're gonna get to that because that's a topic in itself. Um, he said that he, he reached out to them to apologize. Nobody answered the phone. They didn't want to have a conversation. But then he doubled back down. What the next day or two days after and apologized. People are trying to cancel Nick Cannon because he went back and apologized. Like, why not just stand on your own, too? The thing, my opinion is, my man Nick Cannon is, a, is taking care of a lot of people. So when it start, it's like it's, it's easy to be like, you know, this is my beliefs and I'm going to stand on what I believe in. But when you're funding this person's family, this person's family, and so more and so more, you got to be cognizant or aware of the people that you're feeding and who they're feeding. So it's like, yo, you know what? To put my pride to the side, yeah, I apologize so I can keep funding other people. That's how I see it. What I just think, think that um, when, the, when Nick Cannon decided to have a podcast and he decided to speak out, I just thought it was a risk that he knew yep. he was going to get. And so I feel like when you put yourself out there and you risk yourself in those ways, I also feel like you kind of know it's still a low risk that that can happen if you say something and you're unapologetically being yourself. And I'm not saying Viacom is right. Um, what I will say is I do agree where he would apologize to Jews because he has Jews friends and he doesn't want to offend his friends and you want to clear it up. I get that apology. I do think the apology was a little more, I don't want to call it beggy, like, or like, you know, you know, it kind of looks like he did go back on what he said. And we're and I think you can kind of do both. I think you can apologize to the people that you love, that you care about, because you do have Jews that you're friends with. Like, I wasn't trying to offend you, and I apologize for that. But I do think you should stand on what you say, because at the end of the day, you have this podcast for a reason. You are trying to get knowledge out there. You are studying in and taking these courses to be more knowledgeable on, you know, theory and backgrounds and history of every race so at that point you knew what you were getting yourself into so stand on that like if right. you are making that pro like commitment to yourself to lead people and to show them history and this is a part of the history that you're putting out there whether it is liked or not stand on that because that's if that if that's your purpose and that's why you feel like you were put in here to giving that voice to do do it whether and it's going to be a it, it's going to be a risk you're going to lose something now you didn't know you were going to lose the biggest thing Right. You know what I'm saying? But it was a risk you knew ultimately. And it does give your people kind of a slap in the face because they look to you as this leader. They're watching your podcast and you're like, yeah, Nick Cannon, thank you for standing up for us. Thank you for doing your research. And then you go back and be begging and go apologize as if like you're going back on what you said. <clears throat> no, apologize to your peers, but you cannot go back on what you said. So what I was going to ask is, um, do we have the uh, post about, uh, was it Fox? Because he works for Fox doing the um, Unmatched Singer, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Didn't they say, they said they decided to keep, yeah, uh, gonna keep him. apologetic Nick that was exactly their words. Wow. They was going to keep apologetic Nick Cannon. So it wasn't what, wow. them that said it like that. That's how they spun the, okay. the, yeah. the story. That's okay. So the, now the, what the, I was thinking headlines. was maybe he did that to keep his job with Fox. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the truth in that, but I was like, if that's true, I can see like, yo, I'm trying to keep my bag. Yeah. Well, maybe saying? people should be more prepared when they start doing this. And I just think like, if, if you knew you were going out here and you, these were risks and you wanted to make, you should have been in a situation kind of before you decide. Like the thing is, again, celebrities forgetting their power. And it's just like Nick Cannon, you're Nick Cannon. You really can't go out here just saying anything. And if you do decide to do that and you want to do that, you, gotta you better be, prepared. be, you gotta be prepared. Like, yeah. yo, y'all could drop me from there. I'm Gucci. I ain't worried. And that goes into the it conversation. Got, like, My bad. No, I mean, I, to segue a little bit. I think the biggest thing out of this though, is the conversation of ownership in exact, black business. Exactly what I was about to go to. Exactly. The reason why I say that is because a lot of people were talking about, oh, Netflix and uh, uh, BET. Well, he shouldn't have to well, go nowhere. He exactly. shouldn't be able he shouldn't to have to, do his own thing. But more importantly, when people say BET, they have, Viacom owns yeah, BET. BET. You know what I'm like, A lot of people don't, don't even know. know that. Yeah, they don't know. But why I bring that up is because it was black owned at one point. And too often yeah. what we see is like as we move up when we have our big businesses, yeah. somebody throws a number at us that we've never seen. And it's yeah. like instead of us doing the work and staying that path, it's like, all right, bet, let me yeah. cash out right now. Uh, so it speaks to like the fact that Diddy could respond and be like, we are black owned. You know, that right. that was a sense of encouragement. So right. the thing about the like, thing come about over here to revolt, baby. And right. I fuck but, with Diddy so, for that. Yeah, me too. hundred percent. I'm gonna say why. I'm gonna say why. So that not, goes though. that goes right. That goes into the conversation of I thought while and I was the, that niggas like I, I like too. when he demand, demanded ownership. I'm like, wait, hold up, it's not yours. 
Maybe it's a piece of his and he want all of it. I don't know. Yeah, no, he said 100%. He just wants 100%. Right, of it. so. So it's kind of like a partnership. Right, like, so that's. he did it on MTV, which is, right. you know, at the time, I think, you know, Wild Now has been out for a long time now. Yeah. At the time, MTV was what it was. Like, MTV didn't. Without Wild Out now, MTV don't have the ratings. But at that time, when Wild Out was given to MTV, it did have the rating he needed. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, let's do partnership. So it's like, it's also one of those things is, before he built up to it built up to what it was now you know it was a smart decision yeah. and i think that's just where it, sometimes that just happens like it starts off to be a good decision but then what happens is before these things happen it wasn't like you know what i think i want to take 100 percent ownership now or like let's renegotiate and a, this situation a like, lot you know of times I mean? you don't yeah. even just from being in <clears throat> nowhere near that magnitude right but but being in a similar situation your eyes see the potential in it and a lot of times the potential ain't what you think it is. So for example, when I was with a company, I wanted my I wanted to transfer my my content from my page to their page because I'm thinking the company is bigger than me. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking that my content will get so m- more many views and it, it will it will put me in a better situation when in actuality what yep. I was bringing to yep. the table actually helped the company more yep. than they helped me, yep. honestly. So a lot of times when you're in a situation it's like, yo, damn, I got this great this great chance to, mm-hmm. to build with this huge company and I can be almost equal, if not equal, in the long run. Right. And then something like this happened and you see how much power or right. how much influence you actually brought right. to the table. Right. And I think that might be a, a situation I don't know again, mm-hmm. but it's just, it's, it's easier to said than done. Like, you got to understand. And, and yeah. I think mm-hmm. this situation makes Nick Cannon more stronger because he is in a situation that he learned and now yeah. he'll go about it totally right. different in the, in, right. the, in the next run. Um, But... Um, the one thing I didn't like about it though, like I'm off this shit. Like he made some tweets like y'all can have Earth. I'm leaving the planet. Like, stop it. Like you're gonna stop it. You're gonna stop that. You still have this influence. You're still saying careless things. Like it's real people who are suicidal out here, bro. Like that yeah. kill themselves every single freaking day. When you go say things like that with the influence you have, you are telling people when things get bad, fold. Don't do that. Right. That's don't do that yeah. and I don't like that like that that I was I'm pro Nick Cannon but once he did that I'm like you're careless it's kind of I corny. literally said you're careless yeah it's kind of corny it's like yo I if you want to take a step careless. back and relax granted I can't tell nobody mm-hmm. how to make this disclaimer I can't tell nobody how to cope with whatever it can be but if you want to step back and take some time to learn and and take a step back like you said you was do that right don't come back and say these things because once you say I'm gonna leave earth no matter because he could he could mean something totally different he could mean in a mental state of mind. He could mean in a spirit, spiritual well, state of mind. To be clear. Right. But because you're not clear, the next person that you influence might not understand it fully. And when they get a situation, they might take the oh, same yeah, approach. So it's like that's the norm or that's right. what, you know, even the biggest of the biggest do it. So I'm not, you know, exempt from it. Like, it's like, no, like, don't do that. Speaking on that, mm-hmm. I wanted to go. Let's go straight into the Tamar. Right. I said it right. Tamar Braxton, right? Tamar Braxton situation. Oh no, nah, um, damn, it's so much shit to talk about. Um, oh god, that's a good transition. Though. Yeah, let's 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 just let's 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 go to this. Um, because Tamar Braxton was rushed to the hospital for attempting suicide on herself. Correct, well, yes. allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Uh, right. Allegedly. Well, no. So today I was on the, uh, listening to the radio. <laughs> Apparently, they she left a note to her family. Just talking about how she's tired of feeling like a slave and she feel like this is the only way out and those type of things. Uh, that's just what reports are saying. Like, I don't And that goes into the conversation, not really of her, but I was talking to my team about this and we were just talking about seasonal depression. And I feel like it is a real thing. And I heard like Jewel and Sade joking about some things. But I wanted to give my, 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 my idea of it. <clears throat> And I was saying that, like, I feel like it is a real thing. And yeah, you can, people who who, who commit suicide, they can commit it, ain't no trying, you don't have to leave a letter, you'll just do it. But what I will say is, like y'all said, y'all have made a, a great point. Some people do those things to get the attention because they don't feel like they can do anything else. And we shouldn't look at these people and look down on them saying that you don't have to do that because we really don't know none of the ways they tried and just because we wouldn't do that we shouldn't look down on them for that and I feel like we have to learn how to ask people are they okay on a continuous basis and not just assume that they're okay because they our strong friend and to add to that 
we also need to be able to be honest with if we're okay or not. Because mm. I feel like even with me and myself, like when That's I lost my mother and people are, are you okay? I'm, I'm good. good. I'm mm-hmm. good. It's so natural to say. Yep. But I had to really sit my ass down like, no, Jewel, you're not good. Like, your mom's not here. Like And, like, certain things that I had to, like, realize adjusting to, it became harder and harder. And it's still hard. And mm. that's a great point. And I say that. And I'm always just big on, like, ourselves, right? So, like, looking at myself, like, I do the same thing. So, I do need to be honest. Like, if I'm not okay, just saying, being transparent, saying I'm not okay. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like as a people, we do, like, one of one uh, J. Cole quote that I really like was we gotta treat people like children and understand that it takes patience and love and time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And <clears throat> I say that to say we have to know our friends or or we know that all right, he's a strong person. So if I ask him is it okay, he might say, Yeah. So let me not go about my business and just let me not go about my day and just think, okay, he said, Yeah, he's okay. Let me ask a couple times because I yeah. know that's my friend. You know what I'm saying? And I know that even if it was something wrong, you know what I'm saying? As a friend, let me ask. Sometimes I feel like we get into a situation where like I asked you, is you okay? You said no, you should have just told me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not saying that's wrong, but I just feel like we do have to be more patient and more understanding. Like, you know what? This is that type of person. Yeah. So let me push it some more and more. And then I don't know when the balance is to when to not, but I just feel like we should just try to <laughs> overextend ourselves uh-huh. for our friends. Definitely. I definitely agree with that. What? You was, <laughs> I thought you was going to say really something. Had, no, I really had something in my throat. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so I agree because like for me, I'm sorry. Okay. Really but for me, it's like okay. I am the strong friend. So I feel like what you said is very accurate. Like a lot of people, oh, but she posting on Instagram. She on her Insta snap, but she out. She good. Like she ain't worried about it no more. Like sis, I'm not very post videos crying every day. Right. But that don't mean I don't cry. You and, know? So, and sometimes so. I think like even like that letter, right? Like she wrote a letter mm-hmm. to, I think sometimes that's the attention. Whereas though, that I don't want to say strong versus weak, but people like us, we're not going to write a letter. You know what I'm saying? We want, honestly, I'm going to just be 100% transparent. We want to see how how much you care. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. let's see if you if you really if you really cared, you would dig deep. Like, it ain't just, yeah. everybody going to say, oh, you all right? Mm-hmm. Let's see if you really care. If well, you really, guess, well, my bad. Right, I so, I guess, so I'm trying to be as sensitive as possible um, at the same time. Um, but I just think like just speaking to the people who don't have a lot of people or support, cause I think a lot of it comes from people feeling like they don't have the support or mm-hmm. they don't have peers. And like, I, under, I, I keep hearing you say like things like check, you know, double back on them and double. some people really don't have that support system to even care anyway. Like, and I think that's where for me, I just think people got to get out the habit. There's nobody saving you. You have to be your own hero. Like, and that's just something that I'm always going to preach because at the end of the day, can I say that I like how my faith is set up? I just don't believe in suicide. That's me. Not that I don't, I know it happens, but I believe in God. So I can't like, that's a part of my faith. Like you, you do that. You, you lost your faith. I am thankful for the mind and sound mind that I have that I never lose my faith. And that is hard for people to do because they do lose their faith, which is why they go on these, you know, whatever. So I give them a lot of grace, but just people as a whole, um, I do think it's, we have to get out the habit of needing somebody to see or Mm -hmm. needing somebody to be able to tell that I'm down or needing somebody to like, if God isn't your own, your first source, then you need to be your first source. And it's easy. It's easier said than done. But at the same time, I think that like the one thing that stuck out to me, that Jewel says people are so unhonest with themselves, like, Mm -hmm. which leads to these things. Like, I feel like suicidal thinking is a mental illness. If you know that you have a mental illness, you have to go get help. Right. Like, and it's, and it's just one of those things you really can't save everybody because People just aren't going to be honest with themselves. People are going to lose their faith. People are going to lose their, you know, uh, you know, that thing that keeps them holding on to something. And pe- there's people who believe that they don't have anything to hold on to. Um, but you have to get help. And, like, yeah. people who don't get the help, unfortunately, it leads to these situations. And it's one of those things. There's no way to tell. Like you said, there's some people who are walking around normal as fuck that are hurting, hurting, <laughs> like, like completely hurting. And you're not going to be able to just be like, Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? They're still gonna say no. Yes, 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 yes. I'm fine. Um, and it's just, the, and that's why I said it's really hard to even gauge it, like in a way where you only really can help as much as you can. Because if the yeah. person doesn't want to help themselves, you already lost them. Man, we just gotta start doing like mental check ins, honestly. Definitely, like you know what I'm saying yeah. with yourself, with, with your yourself, friends. Period. Yeah. Like, like just even mental- if you don't have no friends, like 
you have to that they have Reach endless out, crisis yeah. lines. Yeah. Like they have these things for a reason. Can we pull up a crisis like, line? We got a number or something yeah. like that. Like well, make sure we put. I on feel the like we definitely got to do some some uh, mental checks with ourselves, yeah. with our friends, and just in general. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like a lot of this. It might can stop a lot of these topics that we even from top to bottom, honestly. Like, yeah. if we just check on somebody. Yeah. You know what, now what, what I will say, I mean, we're just talking about Tamar and, like, you know, just being a trending topic. Like, I just feel like, you know, some people, um, I just feel like, I, not to say it like this, I've seen, you know, Tamar to a degree constantly in headlines, constantly in relationships, back and forth, constantly in marriage issues, constantly. Like, this to me, you should, like, these things could have been solved before we even got here. Yeah. Um, I do think that Tamar is one of those people who you would deem as problematic mm. and not to say it like that. It's just that like, there's always kind of something yeah. going on or something negative going on. And I just think that I don't know who's to say like Tamar has tons of sisters. Tamar has a lot of family and still felt like doing this. So it doesn't really yeah. matter if you have somebody or not. I think some people have to learn their own personal red flags not just other people's red flags. Yep, you got to learn definitely. your own when it's too negative to bear. When it when you're continuously in negative situations, it's like, okay, when do you go find a way to be positive? When yeah. do you check in? And that's the only thing I have to say about Tamar. I don't. I can't say this is for everybody because, you know, unfortunately there's some people who really need the help and really want the help and it's really hard to mentally get out of a negative space. But I just feel like with Tamar, I feel like Tamar has had chances after chances to make her life right. I don't know what's going on internally with yeah. her, but just she's always in some treacherous relationship, always in some situation like that. And I just really would love to see her in a happy space. You but know what I mean? in that case, if that's the case, then maybe she probably and I'm, and I'm gonna just I'm going to just keep it a stack. I got friends who act like Tamar, bro. And that's why I think, like, I'm not trying to be insensitive to this situation, but it's like, yo, some people do have great friends that check in, that are there, that listen to and every damn call, every stare, every other thing, and they still turn around and say this. And to me, at that point... It's some. It's deeper, but and like you have to go do your personal work. But yes. that's why I think. I, that's why I was saying. Like I like the quote. Like you got to be patient because just because we have an idea of when they should speak, or just because we have an idea of what patience is, maybe we have to dig deeper into that. Maybe just, it takes more than a whatever just, we're doing. Maybe it takes more. I just and we feel like if we all agree that everybody is not the healer for everybody. Oh like yeah, that, that, of course. I think that's the other thing. So it doesn't matter. I don't always think it's just about the patience. I think you have as much patience as you have. Yeah, so it's like, facts. you can't tell me to have more patience. If my patience has limit has already, now I'm crossing a boundary now. That's yeah. a fact. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yes, we have to have patience. We have to have grace, but I also have to recognize within myself and my own boundaries that I'm not the healer for everybody. And now this is affecting me mm -hmm. and you don't know. And I think that's the other thing. Like people want so much patience, but they don't understand how much of a burden now it is becoming to be a friend or be a family member because now I'm harming myself right. by trying to help you. So if it's too much for us, we got a number for you. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody yeah. that you can call. 1-800-273-8255 is a suicide prevention line. And it was actually another uh, hotline for um, just like crisis and things, but we're going to give you this number, 1-800-273-8255. If you need somebody to talk to and your friends is just not cutting or you need more support, call this number. They're going to listen. You can speak. You can speak to a counselor today. So that's 1-800-273-8255. Moving suicide prevention lifeline. on. Let's get to probably, if not the biggest story of them all. Entanglement. Entanglement, entanglement, entanglement. <laughs> Lord, stricken, stricken, entanglement. Oh my, we might have enough for two podcasts today. Stricken, stricken, entanglement. First of all, that's a lot to break down. It is. Would you like to start? All right. So first and foremost, let's start. Uh, let's so go all the way back. The key indicator here, um, obviously, Will and Jada had their red table talk, uh, confirming. Uh, Jada's nice entangled one, relationship with August yeah. Alcina. Um, what I would like to say about that. So first of all, the key indicator where they started was that they were separated in their relationship. Like Will said he was completely done with her. Completely. What is separation and like breaks in marriages? Like, what is that? Like, what's up? What you I think? Mean, sometimes you just probably need some time to get away from that crazy motherfucker. Is it time, like, so, but is separation break up? I feel like it's what y'all agree with. I think a lot of times we don't have a communication and we, we don't really talk about and ask each other what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I'm assuming, given their relationship, that they had an understanding, yeah, maybe. because Will said they were done, done. Like, yeah. done, done, done. He was like, he was done with her ass, like, completely. And she was like, yes, she was. 
So if they agree to it, do you think they're wrong? I mean, I think it's wrong on a, a level where if somebody came for help and you no, manip- I, well, before we go there, let's just stick to this. Right. Separation. So not nah, for that. Like, like, just, no, without it even being August, like just separation, like whether she dealt. But that's with the thing. It is August. Grown man. Okay, we're okay. Carrie, you you might as well have started. No, I'm saying you asked me a question. I answered it. No, I no you didn't because I asked the question. You told me we were talking about something else, basically. You said if I said was- so. I'm just talking for starters. Period. Just separation and breaks in a marriage, right? Mm-hmm. Not even you got to be able to talk about what is what is and what ain't. Okay, so if they, if the conversation is concluded that we're done, mm-hmm. you, do can you can do whatever you want to do. You could do whatever you want to do. You, you can still do. date, but have sex. If the if, if that's the conversation and say we're done, then I w- I will hope that y'all actually move in that way because a lot of times we say things and but move differently. People, yeah. men, every day we see. That's why we call them fuck boys. Men lead women on. They say they're not interested, but their actions show that they're interested. So they say that they're broken up, but their actions show something totally different. So it's it gotta be. That y'all moving in that direction. That y'all really meaning what y'all are saying and y'all living in, in that truth. Okay. What you now, my about? question, and I'm thinking about it from a spiritual aspect, right? Mm-hmm. Where it's like, okay, it's like, you know, you get married, you're doing this before God. Okay, yes, we're separated. He's done. Right. I'm done. So why don't we just divorce and let it right. go? Because that's why still separate? adultery, right? Right. Yeah. If you do well, anything else. Yeah, that's how I look at that it. That was my segment. But anyway, um, all, all that to say as well, though, this is just playing devil asking. I'm just asking a question. Divorces take a long time. They so what do, do you do in the so meantime? So you got to right. wait until it's just done. So what do you do in the meantime? I mean, if, if we're talking, if I mean. Because, I mean, there's a lot of people out here right now that's dating while they're separated. Like, yeah. in the process of divorce, divorce isn't finalized. It's coming up. Like, because they give you dates. Like, it's all really up to the courts. And they give you the date. So say somebody's been separated since November. The divorce won't be finalized till this November. So that's a year. I mean, if anything, I think it's communication. You got to just communicate it. Personally, I think you should be healing during that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why are you jumping into something anyways that fast? Because if you were married, I was married for a while. Because if you were married for a while and you already out here, then clearly you're about to fuck somebody else's life up. Right, right. You know what I mean? And that's selfish. So personally, I just feel like you should be taking, if it's a year, and that's it, you should be healing. I mean, I know situations don't end up that way, but. Well, I agree. So I, I, I'm i not here for the dating while separated. I just know that, like, I've had friends dating a guy who's separated or, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I just personally, you know what I'm saying? I just think the same thing. I'm like, well, if you're separated, first of all, if it's too long, that means you're separate. What's your divorce? Like, why haven't you finalized the divorce? Right. Um, one. And two, like, like Alex said, like, you're just jumping into something else and you didn't even really... Take you know what I mean? However, just another devil advocate uh, say, you know, like, boom, they've been separated since last November and the finalized this December. We can't call somebody's healing journey. What if they felt they did their process, they went to therapy, they healed themselves in four months? Then what? I think it should be communicated. Yeah. I think it should be an agreement. And honestly, even, like, people say I'm petty, go, farther at, go far as a written agreement, a written consent. You know what I'm saying? Because we are talking about something that, that can be, le- like, the legal system gets involved and we see people that got sued for for adultery. We, we didn't see these situations. So if, like, if you felt like you held and you feel like you're about to move on, hey, listen, I just want to let you know. I want to be known that we are separated. Our divorce ain't go through yet, but let's get this on paper saying that, yo, we got a contract to be married. So we might have, and we, that's what's taking so long, that contract, mm-hmm. right? To get divorced. So let's make our own contract. Let's get it, go to the postal office, whatever, get it um, notarized and all that mm-hmm. and say, look, I'm going to move on with someone else that's okay with you and that's okay with us until we finalize our divorce or whatever the case may be. I think it should just go that far. What about, like, you know, guys saying, like, you know, sex is an emotional thing for them. What about sex on a break or a separation? Sex on a break? Or a separation. I mean, to be honest, this might not be fair. If you have, if we have sex on a break, I don't even think I'm like I probably yeah as a man I'm, I'm not even talking about getting back but like what do you like is if, that- if we're, so a lot of times what we think a lot of times what we deem as breaks we deem the it was a break after we got back together just being honest and being transparent we don't really in the moment ain't no break we're, we're done that's what we think we don't deem it a break until we get back together so what about so what's sex in that so I mean in that period in that period we broke up so because we're not really thinking about getting back together so it's not a so 
It's not a break. So we don't. We only up. call it a break once we get back it's together. And we were having sex. You were having sex in the break. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with. It. Uh, heard people say like I need a break. Yeah, I've but, definitely heard that. So what if it's that? Like, if it's if, that, if you then say that, and more than like, likely I'm not getting back with you. That's just my like. That's my. Is opinion. that the standard? Like that I don't, ain't that's the standard. Yours. No, like, that's wait, not what the do you standard. Think? I don't think it's a standard. Is every everybody has different levels to their feelings or their emotions? Like that ain't the standard. Like if somebody if if somebody calls a break and then one of them have sex with somebody else and they decide to go back, then I can't look at them no way. That's just my opinion. That's just me. Period. Like I. But okay. So, in regards to this situation, mm-hmm. the entanglement, right? Yeah. Like, cause th- as we're talking about this, and you're talking about a break, is August wrong for feeling the way that he does? August is it wrong with the way he went about it to me again? It's well, corny. speaking out, yeah, okay. Cause it's like, to it's, f- it's, the, but the emotion. So the emotion, right? To me, I feel like yo, you can feel whatever you want, right? And honestly, if you really want the help, go to somebody that's professional to get help. You know exactly what you did when you booked the interview with. Angela Yee, no, no disrespect, I mean, but you booked that interview with Angela Yee, you wanted to spill the beans, you wanted this to happen, you you so-called, I mean, you so happen to have your project coming out, niggas don't even know the name of your songs, yet alone we talking about you and Jada Pinkin, bro, if you hurting, go get help from a professional, not in the public, and then you got a nerve to speak on, what the fuck you said on Twitter, like, people in my business or some shit like that, like, nigga, no, you put us in your business, nigga. Like, the right. fuck is you talking about? So, to me personally, I don't fuck with it. It's corny. You should be able to, you know what I'm saying, get your boot, you know what I'm saying, rock, whatever the case may be, and keep your motherfucking mouth closed. Now you want to interject in somebody else's family, somebody else's happiness. That's whack. Period. Across the board. Now, if he feels the way, I can't take that away from him. All I'm going to say is, I don't think you went about it the right way. That's it. I think you should just, you know what I'm saying, like, go get help. Like, because it, it is real. You could be here. You could, he really could ha- have feelings for sure. Like, it's Jada Pinkett. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, the way you went about it, then you made a song called, you're reaching, my nigga. You clearly yeah. want attention. Like, you made, this, this could be hurt. Like, let me not be, I, I definitely want to acknowledge it. It could be hurt because that's what people do when they hurt. It's corny, though. Yeah. Period. Like, you made a song, you're whack. Sorry. And I still don't know the name of this album. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. Nope. But we know you fucked Jada. Yeah. yeah, sure. Like, what the fuck? Anything about, about the <laughs> <laughs> niggas be pressed to? He was a groupie. That's how. I look, I, that's how I look at it. Like, my nigga got some pussy from somebody that he probably always had a crush on, and then he lost his mind. She was like, Nah, I'm good. I don't want to go back with you. I'm back with my my old man. And then that's what niggas do. Niggas. I mean, niggas know like. Niggas thought that's how girls get exposed. Niggas be corny. Hmm. Yeah. That don't that still have nothing to do. <laughs> that don't have nothing to do with my opinion. But I know where you're going. Cause I still I still can believe I still can believe that niggas do be corny. Like if you're at first if you're out here recording somebody's close friends, you're corny. And if you're out here just trying to like put a girl out there like, yo, you're whack. You're fucking it up for other guys. Like, you're corny. And I, I can say that. And I still can believe the other thing I believe. Like, I still can. I'm I so can. curious to, to know your thoughts right now, Sade, because you're fake. I can. I still can believe both. Like, I can verse, I can understand that that's corny. That is. It Tell is. Scorpio podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's very corny. So, um, Okay, so first, the first thing I'm going to say is this. Like, I just feel like I'm not going to waste so much time on August. Um, I'm gonna just zoom right into Jada. Jada dead ass wrong. Um, and I'm not talking about, you know, like you said, like whatever her and Will's commitment and situation through their separation and break or whatever they deemed what was acceptable, that's fine. Do what you do. Like if it was a, another grown ass man that she was out fucking and dealing with, that's her business, her prerogative, her nigga and her, her nigga broke up with her, they were okay with that, that's fine. My thing is, I'm not going to zoom too much on uh, August because to me, he's a child, not a child, but he's a boy. Like I like y- young boys scoring hurt is a whole different level of hurt. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we don't talk to everybody. We talk about when girls get bitter, but we don't talk about when young boys turning into men get hurt and how they act. They can't trust nobody. I, I have emotional uh, 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 situations going on. I can't love you. Right. Like it's just all these extras. Right. But what I will talk about is Jada. Jada, and it really pissed me off a little bit because 
I actually really fuck with Jada. I fucked with the Red Table Talk um, just along of being my, on my own healing journey on uh, the things that I want to do. And I, I really look to her on the way she dialogued, on the way she, how she tapped in. And my nigga, your son brought his friend home. Mommy, help my friend. And you fucked him. Like, like, I don't think people are like... She helped herself on him. I don't think people are looking at it like that. It's like, oh, well, she wasn't happy. She would... Fuck that. Your son... Your son brought his homie home to you, mommy. He's going through things. Can you help him? And you fucked him. Like... So can I ask this? Since we have, like, looks and shit. Can it be that Jada was foul, but also August was corny? I don't care about August. I just don't. Like, as a grown-ass woman, if my son brought his friend home and I fucked him while I'm supposed to be she helping him, why, like, no, I'm dead-ass wrong. It's not even about my son's fr friend anymore. It's about me. It's about what I did. Like, he's a child. Like, Jada knew better. Like, Jada knew better. So if you were unhappy and you were hurt and you found yourself healing somebody and you started to catch whatever you started, bro, you should have said, let me, uh, let me go see my doctor because yeah. what's going on with me that I'm so upset that I'm finding this young boy that I want to fuck him now. Okay. Let me go talk to my therapist because there's something going on with me. Mm. Well, what am I lacking? What void am I trying to fill that, that I want to fuck dick. this young man? Yeah, that pussy like, problem. like, and even, okay. And then and here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is she going to go fuck it? Vitamin though? D. That's what she like. So here's the thing. Honestly, women fuck younger men all the time. I, look, I had a friend tell me she loved little young 23-year-old boys. And I was just like... Because they just be pumping. The motherfuckers don't stop. Like, the and, energy out of the The motherfuckers fine. just be... That's fine. That's not my style. However, <laughs> if she went and fucked some other young boy, I wouldn't really be too mad. It's just like, that's her prerogative. It's son friend. It's the fact that that's your son and family friend that you're supposed to be helping, knowing how much... Them, August had lost his mother. August has lost... He's literally... His brothers, he's taking care of his three... The boy is damaged goods. Yeah. Like, he's completely damaged goods. And you... You being Jada Pinkett, knowing your power, knowing who you are, knowing your healing aura, and you still fucked him. And then started your whole show based off of him. <laughs> the red August Alcina's table talk. Like, <laughs> yo, that's... So, nobody else don't see... That's No, I me. agree with you, Sade. That's I agree. Me, bro, that's... Now, niggas don't want to call that predatorial, but to me, that's very much predatorial. Not definitely. And like, it's definitely you know what manipulative. Like, 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 the one thing I will agree with, like, that's, like, the one we say, like, how R. Kelly be deeming on young girls who don't know no better, and they have problems at home, and he hide them in, them base, in basements. I don't really see the difference. I mean, Just to be the, fair, I the don't. The difference is 30 to 1. That's the difference. No, no. Let me take that back. Hold up. I absolutely. <laughs> That's the difference. But to me, it's not funny. as I'm far sorry. as the order of operational, how yeah. you do the, it. The way of thinking. Yeah. The delivery, yeah, 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 the yeah. way of thinking. Definitely understand. It's yeah. the same. Definitely understand. And how do I know you didn't get your rocks off with that? You want to go do it again to another boy? I don't know. How do we like, know she did? Know. She could have. Like, NDAs you know what I'm saying? Real. So but we not going to put I that on her. Um, we don't know. We ain't, we ain't yeah, I'm not going to put that on her, but I don't really fuck with that. And it definitely made me look at her different Um, in a way. It's like, bro, like, at the end of the day, I know you're not perfect, but like you're not about to be out here criticizing or, or basically not criticizing, telling T.I. Oh, how to deal with yeah. his daughter and you're out here just fucking your son's friend. Like you're not about, about to sit him at a table to talk about how he's being misogynistic and doing all these things when you're out here being a female predator. You're not going to do that. And, and I think it's very much hypocrisy. I don't like and that. And that's what I was going to ask. Do you that's think, what I don't like. Do you think she took full responsibility in on her episode. No, of the because I feel like if that was the case, you should have been came out and told us and then showed us your process of getting help for it. You came, you sitting at the table, well, like I had to go get healed for. What did you do? I don't All know right. what you did. Tell us about it. What did you tell? Who's your therapist? We're, we're like, what was your process? What did that look like? What steps? How many steps, bitch? Was it 12, 6? What? No, the other real. people want to know. 12 step program. So like, what did you have to go through? Because to me, bitch. all I think is you did was. <laughs> Like, I, like, what did you do? I don't, Honestly, I don't see what you did. That's how the whole entanglement word became so popular. Because she couldn't even be real and say, I mean, not that it doesn't mean that. I but was it's fucking like, this nigga. Yeah. But now like, we was entangled. We was entangled yeah, together. Like, 
Your this, son this is what brought his friend, like. his hurt friend of you, and you who don't them. got no mother and already got wild mommy issues. And you scissor leg like And you, you, you entangled him. <laughs> Yo, Jim and I going to be on podcast episode 32. Damn, this is enough for two podcasts, bro. Um, That's that's where we at with it? 32. Uh, thanks for the whole team. Monique, yeah. Joe, Alex, Julian, Joseph, D. Friend, Hila Bay. Yeah. We out. It's a wrap.